We are back once again to work on the entrance, the main entrance, of Castlevania. Alright, set our theme as we did before. Castle Brick. And now we're going on the inside. And this is going to be easier said than done. Before we go on the inside to avoid getting these things crisscrossed. We want to delete any of the path creators that are still in existence. So we're doing pretty much exactly what we did. Well, we are doing exactly what we did at the end of last episode, or the last part of last episode except for the uh, gameplay of <laughs> of Return to Castlevania. All right, so... And we want this to line up here. So make sure you don't go in between these because you're not gonna... You're not... You're gonna have a gap, right? So it's gonna be right here. And just to test it out, Test the first one out. Make sure I'm right. Let's get ourselves the uh, trim piece. Turn it around. And attach it. Was I right? Um, yes, no, maybe. I think I got them overlapping, don't I? Do I? It just popped out. How in the world did that just pop out? Well, anyway, since it's popped out, I think it's... Yeah, it's easier for me to see now it's popped out. Oh, it didn't pop out. I didn't put it down long, far enough. Well, look at that. There, now we can see that seam. You want to see the seam. I know most of the time we don't, but we can fix that if that's a bother with a flat floor piece. But for right now, make sure you just get this in the right spot. And then the next side. How in the world? Oh, it's because I didn't go down. All right. By the way, I've cut this in half. You know, if you look at the actual map from the NES game, there's like 11 windows, and then you have the transition where you go down the, the stairs and then back up again. And then you have 11 more windows or something like that. 11 and 14, something like that. So I've, I've, I had to cut this down. Anyway, um, let's get our... Uh, Definitely would run out of space. I will tell you that. No ifs, ands, or buts. Having a mod of, for double space or not, we would get probably level one in one toy box. I don't know. I, you know, I, I could be wrong. Um, using the same pieces over and over again, you can get quite far without the mod. And one of the things we can do just for fun is, uh, well, no, just think once I reach half on this, that's pretty much full on, on the regular without the mod. So just look at it that way. 
I was going to say, well, I'd change it back to normal just for fun, but I don't know. You don't need to do that when you can just look at the memory meter and just say, all right, well, double it, and that would be what it was on normal. And Yeah. Go from there. All right, come on. Come on. Find it. Find it. I'm having a hard time getting a hold of that. All right, let's save it. And reload. All right, let me get this. Is that my theme? Turn into spark, man. Spark mode. And uh, I don't need that one. was the first one, so I don't need that anymore. And let's start uh, breaking our connections. That one needs to be fixed. That one's good. That one is good. That one is good. That one needs to be fixed. That one is good. That one is good. That one is good. And that one needs to be fixed. So three of them. I think we did good. One over here, right? Yep. Right here. All right. Let's get a save. And now get the replayers out again and do the do it for up top. Now we're Again, we're going to need two of them because what we're going to do is make this look like a wall. All right, make sure it's so it's going to be on the lip of this arch block. And we're going to do a double stack just like we did on. Uh, where did we do it before? Oh, the, the, uh, what I'm looking at on the other side. <laughs> Okay, next side. All right, now let's bring our trim pieces in. And remember, these are double stacked, so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wish I could just hit undo. You know what? We don't even... Well, let's keep them there for now. Because since you put them there, they act like uh, trigger areas. We don't need to connect these. Because there's no... Uh, there's no uh, blocks uh, other than the uh, vaulted platforms. So we don't have to worry about... that 
so we could have just stuck trigger areas in there. I totally it slipped my mind. All right, so that's all in there. So guess what? <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Let's delete all the uh, path creators that we're not going to use, definitely. They all work. Surprise, surprise. If you have a staples button, press it. That was easy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're not going to get the joke. All right, I think we got them all. All righty. That's it. What? 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 Whoa! 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 What? Did something? Nope. Uh -huh. It's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay, so the next part, what we're going to do is put in windows. All right, so we're only going to need a trigger area at the arch part. Okay, and then you're going to want to get your uh, vertical barrier piece, what it's called. I don't think it should be called that, but it is. And there's going to be three of them. Alright, we're done with these. One of the things I should have done but it's not going to make any difference because I'm going to have hallways going this way and this way. So it just gives you more ambiance. Uh, let me show you what I'm look to, uh, talking about here. So we got this way. If I'm not mistaken, there's only two sky domes that do this. And I can't think of the second one, but... If I'm not mistaken, the second one was one I don't like use anyway, so. But Infinity Beyond, watch what this does. All right, so. Did I get it? Hey, I wasn't even trying. All right, so if we use this one, get this, watch. Going to put a temporary floor in here. The grass isn't <laughs> grass isn't that fitting for it. Let's see what it does. See, you can. I mean, you can actually see the light breaking through the uh, barrier pieces and it's coming from this side so that's pretty neat so I was, I was gonna say I, I think uh, with what I'm gonna do at least one part it would do that if I use this sky dome I might not use this sky dome um, then again I might um, it depends I want this back to normal though Out of there. All right, back to our show. Let's finish the other windows. You know what's after this? Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna put a floor in here. Um, I just hesitated on that because I was. I don't know why. Oh, I wanted to make sure I got it lined up perfectly. Now your dusty crop hopper is going to look different than mine if you, unless you modded it. Uh, all I did is I swapped the texture out for. I believe this is the one that I found. It was for the. Um, oh, hang on, I'm trying to remember now. It was for. Um, 
you know, I can probably keep that in the middle and be safe. It's for the interior. So the interior floors have the same pattern style as the um, dungeon block, but, but they uh, appear to be much larger. I think it wasn't named there. I mean, finding these things is a pain in the rumpus. So that's why I've, I've said in the past, if you're, if you're serious about it and you're looking for it, ask me and I will tell you, or I will, but, uh, yeah. But if you're just asking to ask, you know, cause some people are just like, where's mine? Where's mine? Where's mine? I don't like that. But there's no way for me to tell, so I guess <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to just answer. <laughs> I'll have to find it though. I, it should be it shouldn't be hard for me to find unless unless I didn't organize it. I try to organize my files for the mods, but the first few that I did weren't that organized. Let's put it that way. All right, so we need curtains. These are the new curtains, and uh, I already did one tutorial on one of them and uh, when I did the second one I realized that uh, this is a little bit better um, I think the only difference is the angle pieces you can take them out but uh, I don't know I, I think this is better but uh, anyway I'm gonna show you this so the other part was cut out for time sake and the other thing was I messed it up too many times so first thing you're gonna do is uh, put your path creator here let me delete it so I can just put it there so you say I don't see what you did bam, bam, blah, 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 blah. all right you would never say that nobody would ever say something messed up like that only in my mind all right so put it here. So this is on the edge of the, um, 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 um what is it called? A, um, the, the, um, arch block. Yes, yes, yes. And just go up like that. Exit. Okay. Next thing you want to do you're going to want to do slur my words together we're like oh i don't know wow all right simple toys and you're going to need these pieces you're going to need once i find it i'll show you it nope 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 yes you're going to need two of these take two upside down curve blocks and of course you're going to uh swirly now many many months ago meaning about 12 I did those in feathers now feathers looks fine except when you look really close you know what it looks like feathers so swirly I don't know take your pick maybe some days I'm more feathers and some days I'm more swirly <laughs> as long as you ain't squirrely <laughs> All right, I have no, it must be late at night. <laughs> Much forgiveness throw at me this way. You're gonna need the upside down vertical ramps. You need two of these. I'm just putting these all willy nilly somewhere, right? And you're going to need wall pieces. Now make sure you don't do what I did the first time I did this and put them the wrong way. So you're going to want to make sure it butts up against the wall. So make sure it's facing the right way. Otherwise, you're going to be ripping stuff apart and all that stuff. So you're going to need this. Now, you're also going to need a little bit hanging out. Let me point to it here. So see how it sticking out here? The, uh, the, the uh, this block, the this one. All right, see how that's sticking out? 
just a little bit, all right? So you're gonna need a path grader, of course, if we, that's what we're using. But make sure that uh, butts up against something as opposed to doing that, right? So that's going to go this way. Now, you're not going to need this part because this is going to hide it. Now, if you're not going to use the uh, angled pieces, then I would recommend using that because you're going to have a gap. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do it this way. All right, so first thing we're going to do is the upside down curve blocks and hook them into the path creator. And I'm gonna do two at a time because I think you are mature enough to do two at a time. All right. All right, now new logic connection and then just back out of that so I can freely control. If you're like, how do you zoom in and out? Right stick, push it. And then go to your first curve block, go to properties, all right? Toy box path. You are going to want to go down two. So vertical, negative two. Horizontal three. Uh, one's gonna be plus, one's gonna be minus. Now keep in mind, because these are negative, uh, you are not going to be able to delete the path creator uh, on the reboot. So. Keep that in mind. And the only reason I'm hooking everything to one is because I want to avoid that startup glitch where they get intertwined. And that mostly happens when you go in and out of the door to load a new area. All right, so the less path creators, the less chance that that's going to happen. All right, it won't affect, if they're, not, if they're stationary, it's not gonna matter, but if perchance they get intertwined with the moving door parts that I'm going to put in later on, then your toy box is junk. Um, but if there's a way around it, because if it loads in from a door, you can reload the game. You can restart the game. You can restart it and it'll load fresh. But there is, in, in, there is a possibility that a fresh game could have intertwined path creators. So I'm trying to avoid that altogether, okay? All right, so the next thing you wanna do is take your forward backward and get that to come out just one. And then depending on which way you have your upside down curve block to begin with will depend, will determine whether it's uh, gonna be minus one or plus one, okay? and movement style reverse one way and stop. All right, go to path creator and go to the second up to, upside down curve block, properties, toy box path, vertical one, two, horizontal. In this case is gonna be plus three and forward backwards is going to be minus one and reverse one way and stop. Boom, all right, next is the, let's do, uh, we'll put these in last, all right. So we will do these side pieces. All right, the long one and the short one. All right. New logic connection, back out of it, go to the block wall, properties, toy box path. Now, minus 16 vertical. All right, now you want to go forward this way. So this one's going to the left. So it's minus four. And then horizontal, you want it to pop out um, yeah, it's going to pop out one. Reverse one way and stop. Go to the path creator. Go to the short block wall. Properties, toy box path. Vertical is going to be down minus four. Okay, and then forward is going to be minus four. Nope, minus four. 
and then pop it out one and reverse one way and stop. Oops. I zoom in more. There we go, I think. Yeah, so we got that going, right? Okay. So far, so good, right? Next side. Same thing, just backwards. Well, it's really not backwards, it's the other way. New logic connection, cancel it out. And then I just messed something up. Let's try that again. New logic connection, cancel. All right, go all the way down. Well, you don't want the short block wall yet, we want the long one, long one. Long one. Properties, 12x path, vertical minus 16. All right, and then we want our forward backward. Make sure it's going to the right this time, minus four. All right, horizontal to pop out. And is it, nope, it's minus one this time. And then reverse one way and stop. All right, go to the path creator. Go all the way down to the short block well this time. Properties, toe x path, vertical, minus four, horizontal, oh, sorry, uh, forward, backward, minus four, and the horizontal, minus one, and reverse one way and stop. All right, now just this alone looks decent, but we want it to be better. Now keep this in mind. We have Z fighting up on top. Can you see it? When we move, we got Z fighting. Well, how do we remedy the Z fighting? We take this long block and then we put that in there. New logic connection, cancel out. Long, all the way down to the long block. Properties, toy box path. Let's zoom in so we can see it move. All right forward backward it's going to be minus one vertical minus one reverse one way and stop now if you don't want that to go vertical minus one you don't have to you can keep that raised and it, I'm gonna I'm gonna say do one or the other this is what's gonna happen if you keep it at vertical zero It's going to change the, uh, I would say, what uh, the valence. That's what the round, uh, upside down round pieces are. It, that creates the valence for the curtains. All right, so. I just change that to zero. Now let's get our sludge matic here. It's a tool that slices, it dices. It's not a chopper and a hopper. What could it possibly be? Be, 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 sludge matic That's right. All right, um, new live connection reset. And doo -doo -doo -doo. let's go up here. Say, why did I use that to reset? Because it's usually the first thing on the menu. And reset and play. And let me just hit this and show you the difference. The difference is the. The thing, the divot, the. I don't know what you would call it. See, this is more uh, subtle, this is more pronounced. Either way you do it, you're not going to get any Z fighting. Um, there is Z fitting, it's fitting. There is Z fighting up here and all the way across. We'll take care of those things later. It's not. This. So, I don't know. I tend to like it like this. The only reason I was uh, contemplating doing it this way is because I don't think the valances would go up that high. So, I think this goes up too high. But, take your pick. Um, either way. 
either way is going to be fine with me. Um, guess what? You're really not going to notice it when you're fighting whatever you put in here. So the next thing would be to put in the uh, the pieces that are going to go on the wall, which you can, if, if, the, if detail is not that big of a deal to you, then skip it, but I'm not because detail means a lot to me. I'm going to put both of them in there. New logic connection, cancel out, all the way down, do the second to the last. I always like to do that first. And then it's gonna go down like the other one, <clears throat> minus 16. Then we're going to go horizontal, minus five, okay? reverse one way and stop see that gap there so if you're not going to use angle you're going to want to put another short block in there go to the path creator go to the block wall this the second block wall properties top box path vertical minus 16 all right then you're going to go to your horizontal the other way minus or this case would be plus five reverse one way and stop all right, now we're going to put in our uh, vertical piece or uh, ramp pieces. All right, I'll put them both in. So the one on the top in the menu is going to be left, and the one on the the last one, uh, the bottom one, is going to be the right. New logic connection. Cancel out, all the way down to the bottom, second to the last, properties, toy box path, and vertical, for these you're going to go down minus 8, okay, and then get your horizontal, and you're going to go in 3, don't touch the forward backward because it's not going to look as good. and reverse one way and stop. All right, go to the path creator, all the way down, upside down vertical ramp, the, the second one, properties, toy box path, vertical, minus eight, and then your horizontal is going to be three, reverse one way and stop, there you go. And even though I like the how it's pronounced deep here it, I really think it's the block up here is too tall so I want to change this back to uh, minus one on the vertical and hit the tool that slices doesn't slice doesn't dice it sludges all right, so that's how I make my curtains in 2023. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, so I will see you uh, when I get all of them done because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to do. So that's probably, I don't know hour and a half so I'll see you when I get there oh Thor okay I'm back with all the drapes in place what'd you think Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to give me a like before you click out. And also, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do it, do it now! And click the bell icon if you wanna know what I'm up to before I even know what I'm up to because it helps you see into the future. And I just made that up. Until next time, this is That Brown Bat reminding you to keep on building.